one day I'm gonna get a, like a YouTube room that has like good lighting. That's all I need, really. <laughs> Just good lighting, please. Anyway, um, what's the word? What's the word? Manifesting. I'm manifesting that for me. Yeah. Hello wonderful humans of the internet, how are we? My name is Sam Scott Thorne and I am a vocal coach based in Glasgow. Now if you'd like to meet and explore your voice a little more, you can find me on sstvocals.com. You can also find me on Patreon and various other social media platforms and I'll put the handles down below and over there. Over there. Yeah. I don't know what that was, but that's what's going to happen. Now, if you'd like to consider becoming a patron, you have access to things like early release of reactions, you can fast track reactions, become a reaction, there's special roles on my Discord server, and you have access to all sorts of bonus content, like my Vocal Anatomy 101 series, where you'll learn how your voice works, and little rants, and whatever else. So consider becoming a patron and help shape my channel. Now, before I took a break, there was a video I put up, I can't remember what it was, but I got flooded flooded I tell you with comments saying I need to watch I Surrender by Katrina Velarde and Jessica Villarubin which by the way I love the name Villarubin might be my new favorite name or a close second to Engelbert Humperdinck I mean that's just a that's a name anyway so I've decided that I am going to go and listen to I Surrender by Katrina Velarde and uh, Jessica Villarubin so let's just go and see what we think oh. is just so well controlled it is so well controlled <sighs> i'm almost angry about how good this girl is with the skill level first thing i noticed right off the bat was that beautiful onset with that really dropped larynx so you got this real depth of sound and then it pushed up into that more mid place with that air that aspirate tone which is more air coming through the folds than normal but it wasn't too airy, it was just so finely balanced. Also adding in a little bit of fry before some of the phrases, that's where your folds are slack and the air is just kind of bubbling through. Uh, but if you add that and mix it in, uh, you get that real kind of slide in. Just gorgeous. I cannot, cannot compliment this woman's voice enough. To stand for every dream and forsake the sun and give up this fear within of what would happen if they ever knew I'm in love with you <laughs> cause I surrender everything to feel the chance to live again I reach to Okay, so now she's pushing into this more kind of bolstered vocal. She's going up into kind of a mix rather than a full belt, I would say. You can kind of hear that the tone kind of pulls back a little bit rather than pushes forward. And if it's belted, then you're getting cricoid tilt and that creates a bigger, more forceful sound than what we're hearing there. It's a super, super clever way to go about it though because it's less intense on the voice and she could probably do that mixy sound without any problems whatsoever 
really, really good. Pay particular attention to how much attention she gives to her vowels. Her E's are super spread, her O's are really, really pronounced. And then that surrender at the end, she actually opened her jaw up as she got through the surrender. So it gave it more resonance as she went on, which is a really, really, really easy, but super, super effective way to give that extra edge of control that she's just so, so good at. So, I surrender. You just get a little bit more push off of what's already a fantastic vocal. Wow. Right, okay, Jessica, you're coming out guns hot here. Wow, okay. Jessica is a powerhouse, obviously. Even her subtle sounds are strong. Um, kind of puts me in mind of like a, almost an Aguilera kind of sound. Just everything's like, bah, like full on the whole time. She mixes that out though really well. So she's got a lot of really strong vibrato. Ah, it's really steady. But it's it's almost like got a, a, an operatic shift to it. Now I only say that because the larynx is slightly down and there's a lot of twang on there and it's like proper projected. I don't think it would take much to shunt her voice into the realms of operatic singing is what I'm trying to say. There is a hell of a lot of riffs like every every phrase is ending with like a trill or a riff um so <laughs> par for the course really singers from the philippines love a riff they absolutely go daft for riffs so when they both get going i don't know if i'm going to be able to keep up but let's see and so far so good amazing I knew, I knew there was going to be some riffery witchcraft and there we had it. What was the riffed in harmony up the way and then at the end did a da da da. <laughs> okay, like what? It was almost like glottal stops at the end there. Da, uh, 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 but it didn't have that little bit of closure. So you get still a bit of wave off of it so so good they are both amazing vocalists wow their voices when they harmonize work so well together as well just perfection amazing okay i think i've worked something out here so the reason I'm saying Aguilera-esque for Jessica's voice is because all of her vowels have a kind of an ah kind of sound to them. Swallow my pride. Ah, it's not pride, it's pride. Everything has that kind of ah kind of thing. And that's super popular in kind of R&B and soul kind of music. So you can tell that's kind of where she has come from, whereby um, Katrina is almost more influenced by like old 90s R&B. Or pop even the the Celines and the Whitney's and the Mariah's you can tell her voice is kind of coming from there whereas Jessica I don't know if she's younger than her but it's giving me more 
um, Christina Aguilera kind of bass. That's probably one of her big influences. I could be wrong, I'm just guessing. But amazing. Listen to them in unison. They've done unison a few times now. Their voices are almost indistinguishable. Like, you can hear sometimes where they riff, they're not entirely in sync. And I'm talking like a midgies hair away. That's a Scottish phrase. A midgies like a tiny fly. Um, so you can imagine how small they're out, but there's that tiny wee shift. Otherwise, it sounds like one voice that's been doubled up. Now, I don't know which one is matching the other one's recipe, so maybe Katrina's modifying her vowel sound to match Jessica's, or likewise, maybe Jessica's matching Katrina's, or they're kind of shifting somewhere in between. I mean, if you take an E and an A, you can go E, A, 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 so there's somewhere in the middle that they might both be coming away from their natural soft spots, or sweet spots even, um, to meet and kind of merge the voices into one. A bit like a Steven Universe fusion, if you watch Steven Universe. Anyway, fantastic. <laughs> Katrina getting very excited at the end there and I would be too imagine if, <laughs> just rocking out with that started adding a lot of like gravelly sounds in there little kind of growls at each other as they were doing a little bit of back and forth that whistle tone kind of came in ish I mean it didn't get quite up to where it usually is but I don't think it needed it so you're just like skimming that realm of super super high they are just fantastic together. Hopefully they sing more together. I want to see more. So I hope you liked that reaction. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up down below. And if you want to see more from me, hit subscribe, ring the bell, and anytime I have new content, you'll be the first to know. So I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me. And how are we going to buy this one? Who knows? <laughs> who, who, who knows? Do you know? I don't know. So I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me. And... um. If you like and sub to me, it would fill me with joy and splendor. <laughs> Cringe. Bye.